Thank you, Bud, for your very inspiring and enthusiastic speech. I did not know what advanced communication, uh, communicator a bronze meant until I talked to Bud yesterday, but he certainly, you certainly deserve that uh, prestigious award. And thank you again. I very much like the way that Bud started his speech, and that was by giving your credentials. And that was that your family impressively has given four generations to the military, have served in the military, and also 300 years of combined service. That is incredible. Your speech was basically to answer the question, what is a veteran? And I think you did it extremely well. And the theme that kept running through was that a veteran has a special mindset. And that mindset is service to others. And you emphasize that over and over again extremely well. I liked how you did it by use of stories, stories from movies as well as reality. I liked the movies that you chose, the Forrest Gump, the Top Gun, not the blood and uh, you know, uh, serious ones that you can hardly s watch the screen. I liked your use of humor in order to lighten it. Your mention of yourself as bilingual. I think that's a delightful, you know, your <laughs> Navy and Marine background, that one doesn't do push-ups in when you're, or have serious conversations when you're doing push-ups in the mud. Wonderful phrases that you used. The um, one thing that I would suggest that you do is might go more in depth with your stories. You gave wonderful real stories, referring to uh, Charlie Plum, um, but you didn't go into maybe more depth. You kind of went this way and that way, referring to Forrest Gump, to Top Gun, and your Navy SEAL friends, and a few other people, but might have just focused on one or two. Also, I would have been interested in something of what Connie just said, some more personal references to yourself in regard to your wonderful and impressive military career. One of the things that we talked about yesterday was your tone, and that when you get excited, you get loud and, and very animated. And you did, and, and I think it was very appropriate. You could counter that by being soft at times and almost whispering and, and doing a nice uh, contrast. In conclusion, Bud asked me if we would think that this speech should turn into a 20 to 30 minute speech, like giving it to Rotary Clubs and, and other service organizations, especially around this time of year. And I would definitely encourage you to expand on this with more in-depth stories, more personal references to yourself. But I can assure you on Veterans Day, a week from today, will have much more meaning for me and I'm sure everybody else here because of your wonderful speech. Thank you very much.